Hello everybody, welcome back to another Adobe After Effects tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how to do this animated number counter, animated timer, so to speak. There's a couple steps. Let me show you from scratch. So here we go, from nothing. First step, you want to go ahead and create a text layer. So I just click on the T there, and then I'm just going to type in the number zero. We're going to start our counter at zero, and I'll just move it somewhere into the middle. Okay, good. The next step is we're actually going to go over here to the Effects and Presets panel. Type in the word slider. And when you do that, you're going to find something called slider control. Drag and drop that on top of the number. When you do that, when you look at effect controls, you'll see a slider up at the top there. That's what we want. But we're going to go there in a second. The next step, head back down to your composition panel. Open it up, and you're going to see a few things. I'm going to open up text, and then I'm going to open up effects and a few other things here. Here we go. So the first one, when you see text, you see source text. What you need to do now is you need to hold down the Alt key if you're on a PC or the Option key if you're on a Mac like I am and left click over top of that stopwatch. When you do that, you get a, basically you get a, a, an expression and we're going to adjust that expression next. So what we're going to do now is we're going to grab this little pick whip here. This is the property pick whip and we're going to drag that and put it onto the slider. So you see that I'm going on top of the slider now we've got an expression that's linked to the slider. So now if I go up to the top here into effect controls, I'm going to stopwatch here on slider at zero. And then I'll just move my playhead over to like, I don't know, something like three frames or three seconds. And then I'll just move this number up to like, let's go to like 99 or something like that. Okay, there we go. There we go. We're at 99. And now watch what happens. We're, it's working, but we're getting these crazy decimals. So in order to fix that part, it's kind of tricky, but all you got to do is just type in uh, in the expression source text. So right here, right, right after slider, just type in dot value dot to fix. So we're basically setting them to fixed numbers as opposed to uh, a decimal. So now when we type that in, watch what happens. We go and it scans through 23, 24. That's all there is to it, guys. Thanks for watching.